this thing has quit making noise and I want to find out why. Hi Benjamin. Are you gonna help me today with this thing? What is it you ask? Looks like something off of the old Star Trek. Okay, so I guess the first thing to do is to take it apart. Now it seems to me that uh, I have to take this top piece off. Top piece removal. I installed this thing about <clears throat> maybe 10 years ago. And it was probably 10 years old when I got it. I got it for free. So I figured, what the heck, let's just install this and see how long it lasts. Now, I know nothing of these things. So this might just never ever function again. But we're gonna see if we can make it function. Okay, let's see if the roof will come off this space capsule. Oh, now this really looks like a spaceship, this thing. Okay, what do we have here? Let's take a close look. Okay, we got what appears to be uh, the motor right here. Uh, that's a turbocharger. I got one on the truck that looks just like that. Cool. Okay, now so power comes in right here. Uh, that's your neutral wire. That's your hot wire. And it goes to right there, which is a, like a breaker. It's a, it's a self-resetting fuse by the looks of it. So now it goes through that fuse, it comes out to an on off switch. Leaves the on off switch and goes to a circuit board. Now circuit boards, I know absolutely nothing about them. And now we have, so we got the one hot wire going into the circuit board and we got two coming out. Oh, let's see, yeah. Two coming out, of, so they come out of the switch, they go to there and there. Those are your neutral wires. So now you got one hot wire that comes from the circuit board. Right here, this one. Which goes into the motor. And you've got your neutral wire, which goes into the motor. And you've got your ground wire, or some might call that a bonding wire. Okay, so now... The one other thing we have here is these two blue wires which also go into the bottom of this circuit board and I believe them to be low voltage wires and I believe this to be a transformer to lower the voltage for those two wires. Those two wires come out and they go to basically what they are is a switch. Now this is all in theory. Now, I believe those wires, those low voltage wires, are the ones that go to the, up the wall and they go right to where the vacuum plugs in. And they are the ones that turn this machine on or make it possible to turn on when you plug the vacuum in because there's a switch on the vacuum. So, If I hook up power and hook these two wires together, completing that circuit, 
that, it should make it come on. But apparently it doesn't, because it didn't when it was hanging on the wall down in the crawl space. I spared you from uh, having to go down in the spider webs to get this thing. It doesn't even take any tools to, to get it out of the crawl space because it just hangs on screws on the wall on these things. It just kind of dangles there. Okay, so first things first, let's see if we can make it work. I plugged it into 120 volts. Switch on. Okay, main power is on. There's absolutely nothing happening. Oh, now to make it come on, in theory, I connect these. If I do something dangerous and wrong, just yell at the TV or whatever you're watching me on. Okay, first of all, we have neutral comes into there and power comes in to here. 126 volts, 126.123. Okay, should have the same here. 126 volts. Now this one here that goes to the motor, 126 volts going to the motor. Well, that right there is kind of telling me that there's power going to the motor, so it should be on. Okay, let's take the motor out, maybe. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do now because I whammed it with my hand, and that made it start working again. So, now when I touch these two wires together... Okay, those blue sparks you're seeing, they are usually an indication that the brushes are gone and they should have been replaced yesterday. Doesn't sound awesome. Maybe I'll have to keep trying it and then uh, I'll have to put it back in, I guess. Okay, so what I've determined from this when I hit the motor, that's when it started working. So I guess the motor's on its way out. I'm going to Google and see if I can get parts for that motor, if I can possibly change brushes. Okay, so this motor, it was just held in by these three springs. These are the brushes. I'm gonna try to remove them. I know nothing of brushes. That's why I wear a hat. But if I can do it, oh, a five-year-old can do it. So let's see what happens here. The screws seem to be obstructed. It's almost like this black cap might have to come off before the screws. Yeah, no, that black cap has to come off somehow. Okay, pulling does not seem to work. Yeah, if I can possibly remove the black cap and remove the brushes, then that would be uh, a little cheaper than buying a $200 motor. Aha! Uh -huh. And the reason to taking the brushes off, one of the reasons too is that, uh, well, I want to see what they look like, but also uh, I want to be able to compare them online because it's kind of foggy on which ones I need to buy. I've looked up model numbers and whatever, and yeah, I'm not sure. So just so I buy the right ones, I will make sure that I have them in front of me. I'd rather be looking at them than for them. I don't need to take both sides out. This video is going to get a bit long, so I'll probably have to uh, make a different video of... Just remove that little thing. I'll probably have to make a different video of replacing the brushes. It's quite easy. This little thing here, you just pry it out. You can see it goes right into there and it just slides in 
so you just pry it out with the screwdriver as far as the brushes go yeah I think they're kind of done I'm gonna leave this one in until all the new ones arrive just so I have a reference yeah because it the bearing seems fine so it spins nicely no resistance in the spin okay so if I can find the right brushes then uh, we will change them and see if uh, see if it works if it does it's uh, probably 25 30 percent the cost of replacing the whole motor okay Google beam built-in vacuum cleaner motor here are some results from a search oh oh that's looking like about 200 bucks for that motor okay Google beam me to a different job that is cheap to fix <laughs> This is where I want to be. Gotta love these new Tesla communicators, especially that transporter function. <laughs> <laughs>